So Simba, we support anybody who loses a baby at any stage of pregnancy, close to the time of birth, no matter how small that baby is, no matter how long ago it was. We have our beautiful trees of tranquility, a life-size trees made of copper, where parents can have the leaves engraved and attached to the tree. And again, that represents babies who are tiny, who are still born full term, neonatal death, who were lost many, many years ago. And often it's the only place that these parents have somewhere with their baby's name on it. So we lost our daughter Amelia back in 2015, February 2015. Um, our only 42 weeks pregnancy, we got to the hospital with the contractions where we found out that it's not heartbeat. It's a place where I can take and bring Jakob with us. Uh, and I always tell him we're going to go to garden, we're going to see Amelia, which is his big sister. So he knows that in here it's a place when he comes to kind of see his sister. It's somewhere to go. I don't have a grave like some families have. I don't have anywhere to go, but my little boy's leaf is on the tree. Uh, my mum also lost a baby in the 1990s and she's also got a leaf on the tree. The tree is just a focal point in the garden. It's, it's somewhere that brings us all together and it's somewhere that it's just a beautiful place and a quiet place for families to go just to remember and reflect. I guess unless you're on this journey or you're in this club as we say when you lose your baby it's very very hard to explain to people what gives you comfort. Um, I guess the comfort this provides for me is no one um, has just forgotten that we've had a baby, um, though they're not here, um, and it allows us not to forget. And we, we do bring family here, we bring people to see where our son has a leaf with his name on it and, and a lovely message that we've wrote on the leaf. Many years ago when bereavement care wasn't at the forefront really of, of midwifery, I don't think, it wasn't deemed to be just as important. And I think people were misguided in that perhaps at delivery they remove, remove babies so, so as not to upset families and didn't always say what sex baby was or um, they were never able to give a name to the babies um, and sometimes they were even buried without them being there so I think things have moved on massively and they continue to do so and that's only right and proper and it's something I feel very strongly about. I qualified as a midwife in 1995 and back then we had very very little for bereaved families they used to leave the hospital with a brown envelope with maybe all the old ink pad, hand and footprints, a certificate maybe with the baby's name and a Polaroid picture which would often fade after many years. So to me it wasn't right, I couldn't do that. We have our butterfly releases by the tree, the symbol of Simba is a butterfly. Butterflies live for a short time, I mean up to two weeks maybe on average a butterfly lives, but they have such a journey on their lives, they're, they're beautiful, they're delicate. So it's about organising a place that people can come together, they can join together, we can listen to beautiful songs. have readings by parents, by healthcare professionals who come along and join us. You are the butterfly to our wings. With one flutter of your wings, you got a powerful sadness. And we can just talk and we can chat and we can not say nothing sometimes. We can just be in that place where it's symbolic, it's beautiful and it's together. Our daughter Evie was stillborn at 36 weeks four years ago now, at the end of July. Um, so we've come here today to celebrate her and send off a little butterfly in memory of her and celebrate everything that she means to us. And although it's so sad to see all the other leaves there, it's nice to know you're not alone in this. Yeah, it definitely provides that wee bit of comfort, doesn't it? Because it's such a nice surrounding as well to come here just we wish we didn't have to come here, but to have a place to come where Woody Bee's Leaf is, is very special. We lost our wee boy Reuben uh, three years ago now, so we come out each year just to support the charity and remember, remember him along with the other two daughters as well. Um, it gives us a nice focal point to come without being um, 
like too sort of shiny, if that makes sense. And some places you can go to it can be a bit more than, but the gardens are beautiful. It's a nice venue, the space for the girls to come and play and run around in. Um, it's a nice mixture, so you can still, you know, remember them, but at the same time, it's a happy, positive place as well. It's a nice combination. So we lost our son Felix at 27 weeks gestational age. Um, we're here with his twin brother Bowie today. So we've came along to let the butterfly go in memory of him. We don't have a grave um, or anywhere that we've spread Felix's ashes. So something like the Tranquility Trees would be amazing. At least it would be somewhere we could all visit as a family. The response we've had to the trees has been quite outstanding. So now that people are really seeing them, they want to have more one in their area. Um, there's a lot involved in a tree. We have to find a secure area. We have to find somewhere that's accessible to everybody. We have to find somewhere that's secure at night because the trees are made of copper and the leaves on them are so precious. So we have to find the right area for the tree. So we'll try our best and as quick as we can to fundraise, to fundraise with the community in that area. You don't have very much when you lose a baby. You have some memories, but you have memories you can continue to create and the tree allows that for you to come on anniversaries and birthdays near Christmas at times or just to come at any time and sit. We always have a bench by our tree. So to have a memorial, somewhere to honour all babies is so important.